This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2003 Ford F-350 Crew Cab. Um, it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. It's a one-ton, obviously, crew cab, single rear wheel. Um, it has 214,036 actual miles. And it is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Denver, Colorado. And... We bring them here. We do an inspection. This is what it looks like. This truck I actually purchased to be a parts car. And we never touched it. And once we got it here, we discovered that the car thieves, truck thieves in this case, had stolen a ton of stuff off the motor. Um, and so, just so happens that things got very expensive to buy for us. And I said, you know what? Let's make that a truck. And so we did. So, this is what we did to it. Uh, we put a bulletproof EGR cooler on it, brand new, brand new Ford oil cooler, brand new high and low pressure oil pumps, has a new IPR and ICP. Uh, we did a Rotella oil and filter change. Um, we did uh, new coolant, obviously, and it's got a brand new turbo, okay? Um, that's the main stuff. Most of that stuff that I just mentioned was missing off the top of the motor when it showed up. Uh, and I wasn't told that when I bought it. So, anyway. Uh, let's see what else we got. Air filter is new, reservoir tank is new, steering stabilizer is new, water pump and new motor front cover. The plate on the front of the motor is brand new. Um, ignition and driver door handle and lock cylinder. Obviously it was stolen and they broke all that stuff. Side marker lights, the lights under the headlights are new. Um, for some reason they put black paint over them like they did over the chrome bumper. Um, windshield is new, it had a crack. Grill is new. They painted that black, I believe. Um, and both batteries are new. I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'm gonna show you what's going on here. Somebody's gonna run into a really nice truck here. Um, we kinda got carried away. I kinda wanted to make it a nice truck, and so I did, and there you go. These are the wheels and tires that came on. These are Michelins. Um, probably 40 or 50% tread left on them. Anyway, I kinda wish we had spent time taking this crap off the bumper someone took spray paint to it like they did the grill that we replaced um it would come off but it would take about an hour of scrubbing and dealing with so we didn't um the paint and body on this truck are awesome uh, my brother's gonna take probably 60 to 80 hd photos of this truck in that photo gallery you will see a uh a little magnifying glass icon that you can drag over anything that you see uh, that you want to see up close drag it over that photo and then zoom in with it it's just like having your face up against the truck these little brackets hold uh, uh, running boards they were stolen also we found a pair and they didn't fit see that pair up against the wall there we were gonna put those on there and it didn't work so the front tires are nice the back tires are not so nice so i would buy a couple michelins to match the rears the purpose of my videos and our ads is not really so much to uh sell the truck as much as it is to make sure the right person buys it um, we will have 600 to a thousand people a day see every vehicle in our inventory so there's no need to bs anybody and tell people something that's not true all right because somebody will be fine with whatever's wrong with it as long as we let them know what's wrong with it um so we don't conceal anything we make sure that everybody knows what's up and that there's uh nothing left out if we know it you will know it okay all right let me fire this guy up 214,048 miles there you go all right let me show you what we got going on here Carfax 13,940 Damage refers to the theft damage, probably the door handles and stuff. Um, there's the VIN. 
no accidents reported, 35 service records. It's probably why they stole the stuff off the motor. It was probably had a bunch of aftermarket stuff on it. We did this uh, Carfax yesterday, 521.19. Okay, so there it is in Colorado. Yeah, I would bet that it probably had a lot of nice stuff on the motor. And then they stole it and it didn't have a lot of nice stuff on the motor. And now it has the nice stuff on the motor again. And they serviced it well, really well. come to the stolen part 715 of 18 it was stolen reported stolen insurance claim paid due to theft and then the title was issued to us on 222 of 19 and we just now got around to needing vehicles bad enough to spend a fortune on this thing uh, anyway there's the VIN this is the current Arizona title in our name just say clear title okay no brands at all issued us 222 of 19 214,036 miles. That is a clear Arizona title, okay? So now you've seen all the paperwork we have, everything that we know about the vehicle, you know, okay? Uh, as far as paperwork's concerned. Now we're gonna open up the hood. We're gonna look for uh, Ford stamps on both sides of the core support. And on both fenders, there's one there. There's one there, new battery here. There's your new coolant bottle. There's a lot of brand new underneath the hood of this thing, man. A lot. There's a Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Look at that turbo. Oh. No blow by at all. Zero blow by. So there you go. You got a bulletproof motor. Although I'm not supposed to say bulletproof motor because then people will say, well, is everything bulletproof? No, just the EGR cooler. The oil cooler is Ford. The IPR and ICP are Ford. They're brand new, but they're Ford. Back, forward, up, down, tilt forward, and down. Pretty rare to have a, both front seats and an XLT be power. It's probably a special order. These bolsters are in great shape. Not broken down at all. Okay. Yeah, somebody that manual is in there. Somebody's going to be very, very happy camper here. We need to get away with one here. Hopefully someone's smart enough to go past the mileage and think we'll see who that is God, these seats look great I would say the previous owner of this truck really liked this truck before it was stolen truck parked inside at night it's from Denver a lot of snow and I don't see any rust that's why I show you the bottom of the doors and stuff so that people can see that they'll see it's from Colorado in the Carfax and they'll say what about rust so I get real close here see and they'll usually show up right here on the door jams and there is none there and down here which there's none there's your bin right here all right, window, 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 window. All right, mirrors. Out, in, down, up, other side, out, 
in, down, <coughs> seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, tilt up, and down, seat up, and down. Everything works perfectly there. This bolster is in really good shape for a driver's seat. I can also tell you that the previous owner was not heavy. There's your tilt wheel. Um, how do I know that? Because if you are and you get in here often enough, it will tear that seat for sure. And the bolster breaks down. The uh, padding breaks down. It's not in this car. In this truck. So they stole the radio. We don't replace radios because you can buy brand new radios for nothing. They were nice enough to steal it with uh, by just unplugging it. Uh, let's see, we do have adjustable pedals down and up. Let's see, air conditioning is on. I can already tell you that it's working beautifully, even though we don't need some air, air conditioning right here in Arizona right now because it's like 70 and they got snow in the mountains. All right, let's see. Uh, what else? Oh, toe. Boom, toe on and off. We're gonna go to four low. Let's see where it's four low, right there. And my guys left me no fuel, which is always nice. They said want me to walk. All right, that's uh, four low and drive, four low and reverse. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Four low goes away. Drive. Reverse, neutral, two-wheel drive. You know what, I'm gonna back up and see if those parking sensors work. They almost never do. So I wanna make sure that you know the answer. They do, they work too. There you go. All right, let's go on a ride. Uh, this truck, if you come to drive it home, I would suggest uh, getting two rear tires before you go long distance. You know, a couple Michelins to match those would be good. We have a discount tires really close by. We can help with that if you wanna pay for them over the phone and that tax-free, tell them you're with Wheel Kinetics. It's the uh, Oracle and uh, Park, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the Oracle Road and Prince location, not Park, Oracle and Prince. Um, Blah, 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 blah. But if you're going to come to Tucson drive it home, this is how it works financially. You will pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7%. So if you come here to drive it home, you will pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7%. Um, you will pay a, uh, and you will pay a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, uh, once we fee, uh, receive your full wire, uh, for the full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. School's on here, I gotta pay attention. Um, once we receive full payment, like I said, we'll fill out the title with your name or address, your company's name and address, we'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. Uh, You'll have the truck shipped to you. You already have the title from the mail. And once the uh, truck shows up, you just take the truck and the title to uh, motor vehicles in your state. Very simple. Um, but, but, but what else? Deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we have your deposit, we'll put your name or your company's name in a banner. Uh, over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you and everyone else will know it's, it's sold. Okay, until then it will stay for sale. Last part of every video I say this every single time. I'm not singling this truck out. Um, I love when people verify that. Uh, go to the 30 or 40 uh, that you see online right now. We have thousands out there. Um, last two or three minutes I'll say this. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, a latte machine. We don't have a video game machine. We don't have a lounge or a massage chair. Um, what we do have is the truth, lots of information, 
um, and we also don't try to squeeze every dime out of every sale. Uh, we leave something behind for you, so if there is something wrong with the truck, uh, you can afford to fix it and not be pissed, okay? Uh, bottom line, regardless of when a break happens, we are not going to repair this truck. Because of the way we do our business and the way we run things, um, with the transparency and uh, no salesmen and uh, leaving a lot of meat on the bone for you, um, we can't write checks for parts or repairs ever. So we're not going to, okay? Uh, we just want people to know that. Uh, that's how we operate so that there's no drama. Now, this motor is in fantastic shape. I would be shocked if something broke. But you never know. I mean, we didn't do the injectors. It could need an injector someday. It's a Ford, so that's pretty easy and cheap. But, um, you know, you never know. If something does break, though, you will be the one fixing it. All right? I think that's about it. Um, hopefully my guys see me. Let me in. These goofballs. This little uh, Infinity just showed up. It doesn't have any keys. It was a theft recovery and they sold it with no keys. So there's the forklift to go get it off the truck. All right, hopefully the key guy's on his way. Anyway, this is a really nice running truck, guys. Thank you for your time.